Nigerian government, they want to Islamize us. That is why they're so desperate to make sure that our, our voice is not heard. But we are here and said, no, our voice will be heard. And uh, we have come to die for what we are believing. Whether they like it or not, tomorrow is the deadline we give the two government to release our leader. Because he don't have any guests. And uh, the whole world knows it. But well, because they are afraid of Biafra to be restored, I don't know the reason why the world keeps silent over this issue. Our leader is a British citizen. He denied Nigeria, he never answered Nigeria. So we don't need anything to happen to our leader. Our leader stands on the truth at all times. All he needs is to release our people, his people, to be free. That is what he's trying for. And uh, he's not against humanity. So that is why we are here to remind the Italian government to hear our voice. Tomorrow is a big day. And uh, we are watching to see what we are going to do because we don't have peace. They are running away from their own kangaroo courts. So, Italians, we beer France here in Italy, we are informing you people to tell the government of Nigeria to release our leader. Tomorrow, that is all we are asking for. Biafra is our right, Biafra is our religion, Biafra is our heritage. That is what we are here for. Nobody, no animal, he tell us not to go. And I'm asking Italian government, why are you people keep silent over Biafra? Because the Roman Catholic we are talking about today have taken over Biafra. We Biafra, we are worshipping Roman Catholic. Why are you people, if not for any other thing, for the Christianity, we are the same Christianity, Roman Catholic of that matter. Why are you people keeping silent? We need our freedom. That is what we need. Because all of you know that Muhammad Bani is dead. Why you people refuse to talk? You want people to talk to die before you people come? Please, Italian government, we need you people to intervene this particular place we are into. Because we are not going to stop. We have volunteered ourselves to die for it. Either Biafra or nothing. That is our aim. And nobody will stop us to do that. Nigeria is not a country. Nigeria is a, a criminal state. It's a rogue state. And we are here to say Nigeria must cease to exist. If your people are doubting what we are saying, 
Invite Muhammad Buhari, who is already dead, to come here. Let us see. They are masquerading somebody in the name of Muhammad Buhari. And we are selling, we are not going to continue like that. Our leader was released unconditionally. There is no two ways about it. Or else, two things must happen. Either they kill us or we kill them. At the end of the day, we are from the restaurant. All hey, Biafra. All hey, Biafra. Holy, 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 he has speak once again. He has released the bomb. He has passed the message. The reason why we are here today. And he also said tomorrow we are going to be in Palermo to still share the gospel of redemption. So tell somebody. You tell somebody. <laughs> we are not relenting. We keep protesting. And if they refuse to answer us, <laughs> hell will roll. Yes, that is the short address from IPOB Italy National Coordinator addressing the Italian government, the world, and Biafrans who are here in this rally today. And he has sent a very clear message, and it is very, very simple. So they are riding on protest ground now, and the uh, Assembly can quickly uh, also introduce that to uh, the their friends when they, when they all over the world they watch this protest today. As he go speak to us, Mas. they want to tell him, they want to do something for it, and we their friends we are not going to do. As we speak to them, our their friends, citizens, and people together, and they left and right. Freedom. Today is the uh, 15th of uh, February 2020. Uh, today we have come again in the city of Rome, the capital of Italy. 
to notify them once again that tomorrow is the day, the day our leader, Hazinam Dekano, is going to court. And uh, we have come here in Rome to notify the government of Italy to hear our voice once again. Because uh, the zoo called Nigeria is a terrorist and our leader have not committed any crime. Tomorrow we are looking forward for them to release him unconditionally. Unconditionally because they went to Kenya and they renditioned him back to Nigeria without any case. As we speak today, every day adjournment, every day adjournment, there is no case uh, they, they can be proud of. So we need our leader to be released unconditionally tomorrow. That is the reason why we are here. As we are here today in Rome, tomorrow being 16th, we also in Parliament to notify them because we have endured enough, we cannot continue to do that. Uh, Nigeria is not a place to live. In fact, I can tell the world that the, the creation of Nigeria is a, 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 a death trap to a, a, a human being. So, we, Pia France, we have said we are going. We don't need Nigeria anymore. Nigeria is a terrorist country, which everybody knows. And that Nigeria, as you know today, running by the presidency. No president running Nigeria today. It's a group of people, it's a group of criminals, somewhere gathering them as politicians, but they are all thieves. Different our running our currency everywhere around the world, buying houses, buying So today we have come again to tell the Italian government that we need referendum, nothing more. Referendum is not the war. Referendum is our right. So that is what we need. That's what we are trying for. And our leader must release unconditionally. We are in control saying that and there's nothing anybody can do about it. So that is our request for this uh, protest today. Yes, um, Mazi, 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 before you go, just one question. Um, we can see that around this place we have the government parastatus of the Italy around us here. Um, what message do you have? For the government of Italy, what is your main purpose? What do you want the government of Italy to do for you regarding this protest on this ground today? Please go ahead, Mazi. Of course, uh, the particular place we are now is the heart of Italy. All the government protesters, all of them are here in our post. You can see around there, their police, their secret service, all of them are there watching us. Some of them are interviews individually. So they know about us more than we know ourselves. So here we are today, when you talk of Italy, when you talk of Rome, this is the heart of the place we are in today. So uh, the message has been passed across and uh, we are waiting for them to respond because uh, this is not one, this is not two, this is not two. We have been coming here since 2015 up to date. So there's nobody who say that they are not heard about us. Uh, all we know is that, uh, as according to our leader, he said consistency is the key. That is what exactly what we are doing. And we must insist to do what we are doing on the real time to totally respond. Okay, thank you very much. Um, we are here, we are having a short and a brief interview with the IPOB um, National Coordinator of Italy. Um, this is IPOB Italy Media in conjunction with IPOB Rapture Media. And also we are streaming live in a lot of platforms, both on Twitter and other places. We want you to stay tuned with us. Um, we will ask our national another question um, about, this, about what is going on in Biafra land. Please, Mazi, could you tell us um, there is a lot of invasion in Biafra land by the Nigerian military, by Ibu Bagu. They have been burning um, in Imo State, in Ebony State, in Enugu, in fact, the whole of Biafra land. What can you say about that, uh, Mazi? Of course, uh, there is nothing to hide here. We are always saying the truth. We are saying it the way it is. I can categorically tell you that the, the zoo is a terrorist country and uh, the whole southeast positions are bought over. And uh, what they after is the 2023 election 
they are spitting the blood of our people, the indigenous, the citizens, those that are voting for them to be there. They are no more protecting them. They are selfish interests. Even as we speak, none of their family are there with them. They, they, they all send their children abroad here and uh, killing the, the poor ones there who put them in there. So now we are saying the whole world should hear our voice. Nigeria is not a country. They are killing, as we speak now, our blood, our blood of our brothers and sisters has been over there, here and there. Nemo State have uh, signed the contract that he wants to serve Fulani uh, Janja with because of selfish interest, because of political uh, uh, interest. And we don't want to stay and hear that. So that is the reason why we are telling the world we want referendum because our politicians are not for us and we are not for them. It's very, very clear. They are planning to kill our leader, tell him, but here we are not going to take it. If anything happens to our leader, or if they do not release it tomorrow, then the hell will be like a national Okay, thank you very much. Um, the national coordinator of Italy, IPOB Italy, we want to appreciate.